was a very bad teacher. I was very bad because I would come to school fucked up. I would do comedy, I would drink, I ain't proud of it, but I would come to school sometimes too drunk to teach. And, like, and te teachers, you do this shit. You put on a movie when you fucked up, right? So I got called, right? I got called showing, showing ATL, doing my geometry class, right? So I'm on probation. So I can't show no more movies, so I'm, but I'm still getting fucked up. So I came up with a game. If you if you're a teacher in the building, please use this. This is my gift to you tonight. The name of this game is called Secret Roast. Secret Roast is a game where you give each kid an index card, right? And they have to roast another student on this index card, but they can never name the person that they roast. They can only describe what's fucked up about the person. And the kids have to guess the person who they think is being like described on the card, right? So, so, here's an example. So the, the car might say something like, she smells like tilapia every morning, right? And the kid's like, that's Keisha! That's Keisha! She stank! Right, and you know, it's fun, right? So, 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 so I got suspended for two weeks for doing this because, That's not legal. This is a true story. This is not even a joke. Here's why I got suspended. I had a kid that was in a wheelchair, right? And I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't tell the other niggas like, don't, don't roast him because he in a wheelchair. It's common sense. You don't roast niggas in wheelchairs, right? But kids on the west side of Chicago are fucking savages, nigga. Okay? Put your hand down. Okay? Stop. When, when niggas from Chicago put their fingers up, niggas die. Put your goddamn fingers down, man. Okay? Bam, bam, stop. Okay, nobody, nobody cares. Okay, so true story. True story. Right, so the next card that I read, I didn't understand it. I said, what the fuck is this shit, man? I, I, didn't, I didn't understand the roast. The roast said, this nigga looked like a half transformer. Right? And Okay, it's like, to, to be on a third grade reading level and come up with some shit this smart in high school, I'm like, yup, y'all some dumb geniuses. Like, this is amazing, right? So, and the dude in the wheelchair, he making noises. He like, yo, how you gonna let them do this to me, Mr. Hullum? And I'm like, shit, I gotta fix this, right? And you know your students. You know you got one badass nigga who's like the king and the other bad niggas, right? So, I knew, I knew who he was. I called him up, I said, Quantavius, um, come here. I said, as a, as a 21 year old sophomore, right? Like, I know, I know you know better, fam. Now, the school I was at was so fucked up. People say, Dave, how did you teach for 12 years and not lose your mind? It's very simple. I would do two things I would smoke weed on Friday nights and watch Precious, okay? Now, let me, let me explain this to you. Precious is the most depressing movie. Like, you watch that shit, you be like, nigga, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you, you realize that your shit ain't as bad as her, you feel better about your shit. So, I want to share with y'all a scene from the movie real quick to make your day better. Listen to me, okay? So, make sure you've seen Precious, if you've if you seen the movie, all right? So, you know she had an abusive mother that was played by Monique, right? Well, in this scene, Monique finds a plate of crack cocaine underneath Precious bed and she threw it out because she thought it was like a plate of mashed potatoes that Precious was like high, she thought it was food. So Precious gets mad as shit and picks up a boom box and goes outside and just starts destroying rappers and freestyle battling all around bed style in like the early 1990s. And she ends up getting real good at this rap shit and ends up being discovered by Sean Puff Daddy Combs, who signs her to Bad Boy Records. Now, here, here's where I got emotional, because Precious had a childhood friend that she fell out with by the name of Tupac Shakur, right? So Tupac and Precious get into like this whole East Coast, West Coast beef, where like if you fuck with Precious, you were down with like the East Coast, if you fuck with Tupac and Death Row, you were down with niggas out here, right? So Precious went out to LA, for the Soul Train Awards, right? And Puff, Puff was like, yo, don't go out there, it's not safe for you, right? And she she was like, whoa, Puff, like, I'm, I'm gonna go, right? So 
she went out. She went out to LA, and a after the Soul Train Awards, a car came by. They sprayed up her, her SUV, and they hit her and both of her stomachs, and she died on March 9th as the greatest nigga to ever come out of Brooklyn, right? And that was the last time that I bought my weed from Quantavius because <laughs> I've been Dave Allen. Thank y'all. Have a good night. Peace. <laughs> Hey, what's up, party people? If you enjoy our YouTube videos, you definitely don't want to miss out on our virtual Chocolate Sundays comedy show. We do it every Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, I'm your host, comedian Ron G, and we also got my man DJ Sidekick on the ones and twos. It's amazing, and you don't want to miss out. For more details, go to the description box and get all the information. Till then, don't block your blessing. We'll see you Sunday.